Hi, Steamboat Christian Center. My name is Pastor Tim. I am from International Christian Assemblies, Kiev. Thank you so much for taking this time right now. I'm completely and utterly humbled by this opportunity that I'm able to send in this video to share a little bit. I'm in my backyard right now. We just got done with our service preparations. And then uh, tomorrow we're gonna have a Sunday service. But I just wanna say a huge thank you to every single one of you uh, who has been helping, who has been a part of this journey, a part of helping Ukraine during this time helping us i see a key of a part of this time i remember doug and lisa when the first time they came in i was super excited for the opportunity to just show because we didn't have a lot of people coming in to kiev it was everybody was scared because they didn't know of what to anticipate doug and lisa came in and I, steamboat christian center came in and said we believe and we pray we believe and we pray and so i'm eager to have you guys for the third time in the span of a year basically so thank you so much um in the last year uh we've been traveling to north of ukraine in october and november and then we uh in february we travel to different other locations closer to kiev and right now we're planning on going to Kherson and zaporizhia to the south of ukraine so in our last and recent trips we have seen destruction. We have seen uh, a lot of things that happen to Ukraine. Uh, and our goal is to bring hope, hope and, and faith. Um, we have been um, just blessed with opportunities to go, to minister, to bring aid, humanitarian aid, uh, medical supplies, some hygiene items, and just be there for people. One thing that we have noticed is that it has been vital for us to hear them out, hear their passion. We traveled to this location, Balaklia, uh, where it was occupied. Right now it is deoccupied, praise Jesus. And then uh, it, it's just ladies who are baking bread. 139 loaves of bread every single day, almost a thousand loaves a week. And they're not charging money for it or anything. We were able to bless them so that they can bless others. So it was completely free of charge. All they do is just make bread every single day. And they're doing with a smile. They're doing with a passion, knowing that they're they're helping Ukraine. They're helping people. They're helping um, just extend the gospel. And having Steamboat Christian Center alongside of us as we are able to be the hands and feet of Jesus, as we are able to partner together to bring that hope to people. I'm super excited and eager to have um, hopefully all y'all to come here <laughs> soon so you guys can witness what you have been able to do um, a pond away, an ocean away. It's truly an amazing opportunity for us to be able to go and, um, and just to be able to show people what they have been able to do while they were at home. So thank you so much. I'm eager to, <laughs> I'm really excited, that's, that's for sure. I'm excited to have um, Doug and Lisa back in Ukraine. Uh, hopefully we'll have a team from Steamboat Christian Center soon here as well. But I just want to say thank you again for your faithfulness, for your generosity, and I'm looking forward to future potential uh, different uh, projects that we're going to have together. So have a great Sunday, have a great service, and uh, I'll see you guys around.